everyone welcome to my channel science and me today we will learn a easy method to draw the diagram of nephron so let's start what you have to do is make a inverted c okay. now just double this inverted c right now what you have to do is make a line a straight line from here we are just drawing the basic structure of nephron so make a line and then from this line make a s okay now it's looking like a s then from this s make a p and then pull it down and make a loop like structure a u shaped structure and then bring it up exactly here rub a small part and then make a c then from here again make a s right this is looking like a s another s make another s and then a straight line right so now this outer basic structure is ready you have to just make it double now double this like this everything just double it make it a big thick this area is exactly straight line and then again over it in here again here here and then down now what you have to do is rub small portions to show the branches like branching pattern you have to show so rub small portions and make branches small small branches like this here like this close this branches so now your basic structure of nephron is ready now we have to make the capillaries so i'm using another color pen for this so for drawing the capillaries again there is one more short method is there what you have to do is first take out the arterioles from here like this and from this side also okay now a small portion rub a small portion of this exactly like this okay rub a small portion and then may join a line here make a straight line double okay. so my line has become like this to make a straight line here right now what you have to do is just follow this and make another line and then like this like this a square shape but don't fill it again make it double leave it like this right now what you have to do is you have to make the branches of capillaries so what you can do you can make lines like this branches of capillaries so like this then here one more then across cross you can show like this something cross here these are the capillaries now what is left is glomerulus now glomerulus you can make such thread like structures randomly you can make as chromatin material inside the nucleus how it appears same like that you can make these kind of glomerulus and then the last part which is left is 
this part okay so this is again another way you have to make a a shape so i'm just starting from here and making a a shape and joining this and joining the a shape here okay and this part here again make it double and then rub these portions and the middle portion a is the this middle portion of the a this portion and this so it's looking like a a right you can see it's looking like a a right make it a straight line the diagram of nephron is now ready and the last part which is left is your labia so we will start doing it so this part is known as efferent arteriole this one is known as efferent this is known as glomerulus so glomerulus as you know it's a tuft of capillaries so you can make this kind of structure and this capsule is known as bowman's capsule okay then this portion okay this portion which is in direct contact with the bowman's capsule is known as proximal convoluted as it is in the proximity with your bowman's capsule so it is known as proximal convoluted tubule this portion is known as it, it is looking like a loop so this is known as henle's loop henle's loop then this portion which is far from bowman's capsule so this is known as distal convoluted tubule and last part okay, this branching one is known as collecting duct collecting duct so once again i'll just give you a recap of this that how we have made the diagram of nephron first a c inverted c then that is portion then make a straight line then s then p then a c and then a u okay so first inverted c s p then c then u again s again s and a straight line make it double and then next what you have to do is from here okay from this efferent arteriole you have to put just bring a small straight line and then make it a square shape don't join the square and then the last thing is making a a and join this a with this efferent arteriole okay don't connect it with this part okay with these tubules connect it with this one the red ones okay so now your diagram of nephron is ready i hope it will help you thanks for watching science and me do like and subscribe my channel